so welcome. Uh, welcome to our uh, first and hopefully last virtual uh, alumni celebration for our Distinguished Alumni Award winners. I uh, hope you can see our the, the screen right now. I've got some slides I wanted to show you. Uh, welcome to all of this year's inductees. Uh, and we'll uh, say a little bit more about the, the, this class in a, in a few minutes. And welcome to their family and to their friends. Uh, I also like to welcome the prior award winners. Uh, we've invited them. I'm not sure how many are out there yet, but we've invited them and maybe their family. And welcome to you all too. And the faculty and staff of the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering and any students who may also be uh, listening in, welcome. Well, we 2020 is a very special year. Um, we would love to have had you on campus and uh, show you uh, our Centennial campus. I, I'm talking to the award winners now uh, and their family and their friends. And we would have a nice lunch. Uh, so I hope you had a nice virtual lunch. Uh, we would uh, be uh, meeting with each other and greeting and telling stories. Uh, unfortunately, we, we've lost that capability this year. There is a loss um, among, uh, among all the other losses we have. And I, I truly do miss that uh, interaction with uh, our alums and their friends and their families. Uh, but we'll do what we need to do in 2020. That's what we've been doing. And that's what we'll continue to do here. The Department of uh, Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, for those who may not know this, is now 96 years old. 96 years since we became an official department, not a chemical engineering program, but actually uh, as a department. Uh, there, we were a program prior to that, actually. But in any event, 96 years, we've had uh, about 6,000 BS graduates in that big neighborhood. Uh, we had our graduation ceremony yesterday, as a matter of fact, and uh, it was a virtual ceremony. And uh, we graduated the May and the, well, we acknowledged the May and the December graduates because, uh, well, we canceled the May event, hoping that we could be here in person in December and that just did not happen. So of those 6,000 6, plus, if you include our graduate students, 6,000 plus gra graduates, uh, we I, I have identified uh, a very special subset of those who have uh, made distinguished accomplishments in their career. Uh, it all started though with you as a student here at NC State. Faculty uh, here in our department are uh, very versatile folks. Uh, they have multiple interests. And one of those interests, of course, is their scholarship. They love to do research. That's why they're a faculty member, but they also love to teach. And I think that's very, 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 we're very, very proud of that. I think we do a good job at teaching. And so in that regard, uh, we consider our students as our product. Uh, some of you have been out there in the industrial world and you have products. Uh, well, our students are our products and we're very proud of our product uh, that we produce. And uh, we're seeing the best of our products um, in, in these award ceremonies. We have stood up this award. Uh, oh gosh, it's only been uh, this is the fifth year. So we've had four ceremonies. Uh, about four years ago, five years ago, um, a little over that actually, uh, we, uh, a few faculty and Russ and uh, I got together and said, we need to do something to acknowledge all of our, our, our wonderful alums and their career accomplishments. So uh, after uh, some deliberation, we stood up this uh, award that we now are providing to the alums today. The uh, purpose of the award is to recognize th their ex exemplary uh, contributions and um, they, that they've made to either the profession, community, department, college or university and doors. And moreover than that, uh, these very special alums, we, we like to highlight to our students. So we like to inspire our current students and future students on what they could be um, in some point in their career, if they just apply themselves. We do that, um, we have a hallway uh, in our department uh, and 
obviously you can't see the hallway because you're not here, but we have a hallway where we place uh, plaques of photographs and a citation for every one of our award winners. And this is a hallway that is the uh, uh, entryway to our director of undergraduate programs office. So practically every undergraduate in, in the chemical engineering program here at NC State walks through that hallway and passes by these photos. And uh, we hope they get inspired by reading uh, what our alums have been able to accomplish. The uh, process that we've employed to select the uh, uh, alumni award winners uh, is relatively straightforward. Uh, there's the selection criteria listed there for you. We have, as I said, many alums, you know, 6,000 BS students to choose from. Uh, and we have a committee uh, that uh, looks at nominations. We solicit nominations. Uh, and then the committee looks at the nominations and selects the award winners. So we have four award winners that we're going to present today and one young alumni award winner. So five award winners in total. Uh, and these are the criteria that we look for uh, in, in the candidates. So let me address uh, and bring to this virtual podium individually uh, the 2020 award winners. Listed alphabetically. Our first distinguished alumni award winner is Vice Admiral Daryl Cottle. Uh, uh, Vice Admiral Caudill uh, received his BS degree, as you can see, in 1985, and then moved on and received uh, MS in physics and MS in engineering management, and has moved in his career. He's been spent his entire career uh, in the Navy. I won't read all those bullet points for you, but I will tell you that where he is presently. He is the Vice Admiral and Commander for the U.S. Naval Submarine Forces and Task Force 114. Uh, in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm not sure if I pronounced that the Virginia way or not. Daryl can correct me. Uh, if we had a live ceremony, I would be calling Daryl to the podium right now, uh, and we would be presenting him this plaque. Uh, and all of our award winners should have received this plaque by now because we mailed them out before the ceremony. But let me read the citation on the plaque. The Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at North Carolina State University presents Daryl L. Caudill, the CBE Distinguished Alumni Award in recognition of exemplary contributions to his profession, community, and alma mater, December 4th, 2020. Congratulations, Daryl. Daryl, do you have a few words that you'd like to say? Hey, Peter. Uh, yes. Uh, first, thank you very much. I really sincerely appreciate the uh, the uh, the recognition and the honor to be here today with such a, uh, a tremendous group of alums uh, from NC State and to you and Russ for just uh, pulling this together virtually despite COVID and to uh, be able to get this done is, is a testimony to uh, your creativity and innovation, hard work. And I do just want to say a few things. Um, Russ gave us a little bit of an outline and I'm just kind of going to go by that. And yes, I did receive my plaque. So I'm very happy that it's beautiful and thank you. Um, but to my degree and its contribution to my career, I, I did join the Navy from NC State through a program called the Nuclear Propulsion and Officer Candidate Program. And uh, in that time period, we were coming out of a recession and the recruiters were, we had a massive Navy, almost 600 ships during that time, over 120 submarines. So there was a big demand to get folks to, to uh, be on those submarines. And I had this relentless recruiter just pestered me pretty much every week to join. And the reason that was done is because NC State's reputation and its STEM program, knew he knew that the, uh, the education that I was getting would serve me well in that nuclear propulsion program. So, uh, and to this day, as a person who's over the submarine force, uh, that still holds true. So we still seek folks from the ROTC unit there, the ROTC unit, and through the nuclear propulsion program that I came in. Uh, but the NC State degree, you know, really was a springboard for me for all my advanced degrees and kind of underpin, underpinned my entire career. Uh, and where knowledge and competency is the currency in my field. So that's how we're judged. And it certainly helped uh, start that off very well. And it led to me getting my professional engineering license. At the time, doing the EIT, now the FE was 
a part of the, uh, the push from the department. And I went ahead and got that done and I'm currently licensed in three states. So it's something you don't see much in the Navy, but it was something that I think NC State instilled in me and I did that. A few professors stood out and these will be uh, unfamiliar to those on the, uh, the list today, but uh, it would be hard to not say that Dr. Uh, Felder and Rousseau both were instrumental in my time at NC State. And so was Dr. Marsland. I started out in chemistry, actually, my first semester. My roommate was, was a guy named Chad Hurley, who is somebody who could be sitting here just as easily as I am, a brilliant uh, person who was my roommate, was in chemical engineering, talked to me about it, and I went and transferred into uh, that program. And uh, Dr. Marsland, I think, was the sign-off on that. But to your point of teaching, you know, all of these professors, every day, what we kind of call boots on ground, teaching, and in and, and a pressurized environment where they could be doing additional research and publishing, really put teaching first. And I think that was key to, to uh, my experience there. And I'd also have to just give a shout out to the math department. I took all of my electives in, the, in math and because of the, the key, I think, to understanding the challenging concepts in engineering is having mastery over math. And I think the math department at NC State is fine. And uh, so uh, time at NC State, of course, uh, the, you know, the chemical engineering was special to me. It's a big school. You graduate with a lot of folks, but I never felt like it was a big school. It always had a small footprint feel. I was always uh, able to get personalized help. And I was always felt like I was in a very close knit group with the, uh, the chemical engineering classmates of mine. It was always special. Of course, ACC football and basketball was a big part of my life then. I was there when we won the national championship. So in 1983, a big part of that time. And uh, I have family maybe online today. I'm not sure which ones were able to join, but none of them went to NC State. In fact, uh, UNC, uh, Chapel Hill and Greensboro and other schools. And I chose NC State because when I toured the campus, the look and feel was just very special and it was just a right fit for me. And then you don't get to this level of achievement without support. And that support comes from uh, my people I've worked with throughout my career, but more importantly, my family members and uh, my daughters and stepdaughters and uh, my wife, Donna. I just want to say how much I appreciate all the support. 35 plus years in the Navy doesn't come without a lot of sacrifice and a lot of time away from those family members. And, uh, and I just want to say thank you to all of them that could join today. And Peter, that's all, sir. Thank you, Daryl. And congratulations again. Our next Distinguished Alumni Award winner is Mrs. Anna Davis. Anna received her BS degree in chemical engineering here from NC State in 1991. And as you can see from all the bullet list items, uh, she has been uh, had a, a, an industrial career, a totally industrial career. Uh, presently, uh, she is the head of Health, Safety, and Environment North America in Syngenta here in Greensboro. North Carolina. I like to bring uh, Anna to the virtual uh, podium and hand her this virtual plaque. Uh, again, I hope Anna that you have received the plaque by now. And let me read the citation for all. The Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at North Carolina State University presents Anna P. Davis, the CBE Distinguished Alumni Award in recognition of exemplary contributions to her profession, community, and alma mater, December 4th, 2020. Anna, would you like to say a few words? Yes, thank you, Peter. Uh, thank you to the nominating committee and to um, the recipients of the awards today. It's, it's extremely humbling to be amongst this group of very talented and, and accomplished engineers. You know, as I look back at uh, my career, mostly in production and most recently in health, safety and environment, you know, it really has taken what I call my pack uh, to get me here. You know, my love of science really started with my father. He was the very first engineer that I ever met and someone that really instilled that love of science for me. And I was lucky enough to have a mom that taught me that I as a girl could do anything that the boys could do. And both of them really encouraged us to dream big and landed in a little city called Raleigh, North Carolina because they had heard about a great university. And little did I know that in that university, I would meet the love of my life in thermodynamics class. 
I would meet Dr. Carol Hall that taught me about work-life balance and prioritizing family when sometimes you wanna focus on maybe the schoolwork. And Dr. Roberts that taught me about being resilient on those days when I wasn't sure that I wanted to be in chemical engineering. So he really pushed me really, really hard to believe in myself. But it was in the years later where the university continued to help me grow as a person with Dr. Do uh, Russell Dell and Dr. FedQ and asking me to join the advisory board where I learned about this inner workings of the university and, and I learned from other alumni that were doing amazing things. And they encouraged me to become involved. And so along the way, I've met many students I've mentored some and they've mentored me. I've graded a lot of papers. I've learned how to grade senior design project papers. And along the way, I grew as a person. And then came the real challenge. As a mom of three kids, two of which are chemical engineers, um, you know, to, to let see your children leave home and to a, a, a university and to see the tremendous care that this university um, took for my own children and the family environment that they created. Um, it's something that I will never uh, forget. You all taught me that, you know, this university is much more than what people see on the surface. There's real substance and real care here. You know, and really along the way, um, it's been uh, a continued journey of growth where the university has been there for me. And most recently, uh, when I was nominated for the board of, of directors of AICHE, something that I wasn't sure I could do, it was, it was my NC State Wolfpack family that encouraged me, um, you know, and, uh, and helped me on that journey. So, you know, as I look back, I'm just forever grateful for what the university has, uh, has allowed me to accomplish. You've been part of my journey. So thank you for being uh, my pack, the strength of the wolf is in the pack, and I am honored and humbled to have all of you on my journey. And as we say in my native country of Spain, gracias desde el fondo de mi corazón. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Go pack. Thank you, Anna, and congratulations once again. Our next distinguished alumni award winner is Dr. Marcus Martin Sr. Dr. Martin, as you can see, has two degrees from NC State, uh, a BS in pulp and paper and a BS in chemical engineering. And I'll let you all know that our dual degree program is still going strong. Uh, Dr. Martin started his career, as you can see, also in, in, in the, as you may think, somebody with a degree in pulp and paper in the paper industry, uh, but uh, moved on into the medical field and uh, uh, is currently, I, I won't read all of the accomplishments, but is currently the Vice President and Chief Officer for Diversity and Equity at the University of Virginia. I'll call Dr. Martin to the virtual podium and I'd like to present him this virtual plaque and read the citation for you all. Uh, the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at NC State University presents Marcus Martin Sr. the CBE Distinguished Alumni Award in recognition of exemplary contributions to his profession, community, and alma mater, December 4th, 2020. Dr. Martin, would you like to have a few words? Well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Pat Q. And uh, thank you, Dr. Odell, for all the support that you've provided. And uh, congratulations to all of my fellow uh, distinguished alumni being recognized here today. I am uh, truly honored by this recognition. Um, my experience at NC State as an undergraduate was, was great. I was in the uh, marching band my first year. Um, and I recall being in Cardiff Finley Stadium when it first opened uh, marching. And I walked on uh, to the varsity football team the second year and um, uh, I was the first African-American varsity football player at State. And uh, so I took my hard knocks. I was also a founding member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, uh, the chapter at State. And um, with all this background, some semesters I was taking 21 credit hours uh, just to stay on track for the, for the dual degree. Uh, fortunately, I had uh, some outstanding faculty mentors uh, Professor Robert Hitchings in pulp and paper technology and Dr. Hal Hoffenberg, uh, Kimmy, they were my key faculty mentors. 
And Hubert Rinson, I think, is on, on the line here today, too. Hubert uh, was a great friend. Um, he was my undergrad peer in chemical engineering. He got his degree in 1970, I believe, and I got mine in 71. Um, well, he went on to earn a PhD in chemical engineering at state. So Dr. Winston uh, also became the very first African-American faculty member in CBE and in the College of Engineering. So thank you, Houston, uh, 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 Hubert Winston, uh, Hubie, I called him. Uh, you are a true distinguished alum, and I thank you for all the support that you provided me along the way. Um, my strong undergraduate education at the state, especially in Kim E, and uh, my research experience every summer at the paper mill, uh, coupled with uh, being a production engineer, I think were key in my acceptance to Eastern Virginia Medical School. So I joined Eastern Virginia Medical School uh, charter class, and I was the first African American graduate of EVMS. And I currently serve on um, the Board of Visitors at, at, at EVMS as the Vice Rector. And uh, as an alum of NC State, I was privileged to serve on the inaugural uh, NC State Board of Visitors. And I currently serve on the Keenan Institute for Engineering, Technology and Science Board of Trustees with Dr. Ruben Carbonell and Dr. Hal Hoffenberg, both who were former CBE department heads. And finally, uh, I thank my wife Donna and my family for their loving support over the years. Uh, my career would not have been as fruitful without their support. Um, four kids got college degrees, a couple, three from uh, UVA. Um, uh, my daughter Jamila got her degree um, in health administration from NC State, and then she went on to get her doctorate in nursing from UVA, and she's assistant professor at ODU. Uh, all my children are doing well, and so I thank them again for their support in my way. And I thank all of you, and congratulations to all again. This is a, a wonderful occasion. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus, and congratulations again. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our next Distinguished Alumni Award winner, Dr. Milton G. Williams, Jr. Uh, Dr. Williams, as you can see, received his degree, BS in Chemical Engineering and a PhD degree in Chemical Engineering, both from our department, 61 and 65 respectively. And he has had a, a long and distinguished career uh, in uh, the fiber industry. Um, and uh, I believe he has now retired, uh, but he can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, as his most recent position was vice president and technical director of Rodenberg here in uh, Durham, North Carolina. I would call uh, Dr. Williams to the virtual podium and hand him his virtual plaque. And let me read the citation. The Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at North Carolina State University presents Milton G. Williams, Jr the CBE Distinguished Alumni Award in recognition of exemplary contribution to his profession, community, and alma mater, December 4th, 2020. Milt, would you like to have, uh, say a few words? Thank you very much. And hello everyone from the home of the former number one women's basketball team and the college basketball team in the United States. South Carolina, who were beaten last night, if you haven't yet heard, by the Wolfpack women. Mm -hmm. Let me begin by thanking Dr. Fed Q and my friend of more than 40 years, Russell Dill, for recognizing me in this way. It's, it's quite an honor at this point in my life. And yes, I've been retired for 14 years now, Peter. <laughs> and I'm sure that you must have overlooked many more deserving people than me to select me. But in any case, thank you very, very much. My chemical engineering degrees were vital for my career in the synthetic fiber industry. This was an early life goal for me, being heavily influenced by a polyester fiber plant just outside my hometown in North Carolina. A summer internship at that plant confirmed to me that chemical engineering was the best match for those interests and my skills. I should say a few words of tribute to those faculty members who had much to do with my success as a student and who guided me through graduate school. I'll begin with Dr. Jim Farrell, who was my advisor and PhD committee chairman. 
He later served as head of the Department of Chemical Engineering, as I guess you will all remember. Dr. Farrell had a very keen interest in applying mathematics to engineering problems. And this led to the selection of my research project, which in fact was to finish his unfinished PhD research. Dr. Zed Shaneborn and Ken Beatty and Professor Frank Sheely, Sealy were also valuable committee members. I'm especially grateful to Professor Sealy, who insisted that all good graduate students should join him in his Friday afternoon golf outings during the summer months. One fact about my student days at NC State that I'm very proud of is the outstanding academic achievement of the chemical engineering class of 1961. The May 1961 commencement program listed only 22 recipients of B BS degrees in chemical engineering that year. Of these, three received their diplomas with honors and five received theirs with high honors. Of these six men, six of these men rather, went on to achieve the PhD degree. Five of us in chemical engineering and one more in applied mathematics. So in summary, more than a third of the class of 1961, my BS degree class, graduated with honors and more than a fourth earned PhD degrees. Also, uh, I was a student at NC State. I was fortunate to have had a close personal relationship with numerous fraternity brothers who have had significant impacts on the university over the past 60 years. Knowing these men and having an awareness of their contributions to our alma mater has been most meaningful. Bill Garwood, who is very well known in our own department, and Fred Wilson, who is now very well known in the College of Textiles, are exam examples of such men. Finally, I want to thank my wife, Martha, not only for support during my graduate student days, but also continuing to encourage me through the ups and downs of our nearly 60 years of marriage. Our marriage produced two wonderful daughters, Ann Headley of Columbia, South Carolina, and Susan Heffron of Auburn, Alabama. Thank you, Ann and Susan, for all that you mean to your mother and me. And thank you to everyone. And congratulations to the other honorees. Thank you, Milton. And once again, congratulations. Our final award recipient today uh, is to our 2020 Young Alumni Award winner. So young is such a relative word. Let me define what young means to us. Young means 15 degrees or earlier uh, from the time of your degree. Um, Young looks so much younger every year I get older. <laughs> this year's award winner I'm pleased to announce is Mr. Christopher Shaw. Uh, Christopher received his BS degree in uh, 2005 here from NC State and an MBA uh, from University of Buffalo at uh, SUNY in 2010. And as you can see uh, from this list uh, of his career accomplishments. He's made a career uh, so far in, in the DuPont company. And he's presently is the plant manager, DuPont, Dayton, North Carolina, Ohio. I'll call uh, Chris to the virtual podium and I will read his virtual plaque. The citation reads, the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at NC State University presents Christopher Shaw the CBE Distinguished Young Alumni Award in recognition of exemplary contributions to his profession, community, and alma mater, December 4th, 2020. Chris, would you like to say a few words? Yes, th thank you very much, Dr. Fedq and, and Dr. O'Dell. 
Um, really would like to thank the uh, Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering for selecting me to receive this award. Um, it's truly humbling to have been chosen to receive this honor. Um, also, I, you know, I appreciate you um, carrying on with this award ceremony during this very challenging year. Um, so I look back at my four years at NC State, um, you know, my, my degree in chemical engineering um, has really had more impact on my career success than any, any other experience I've had. Um, soon after beginning my first position as a process engineer at, at DuPont, I realized how well my education at NC State prepared me for my career. Um, I was able to apply the technical skills I learned to real world engineering problems, including making improvements to safety, quality, and, and manufacturing productivity. Um, you know, in addition to that, my degrees enabled me to take part in some projects and programs that I wouldn't have imagined at the time I was in, at school, um, such as new plant construction and startup, bringing new products to market, and also being part of a, a global business management team. Um, not only did I receive excellent technical training at NC State, but the department also focused on other critical skills. The curriculum had a strong emphasis on teamwork and group assignments, and at, at the time I didn't fully appreciate how important these skills would be for my future success, but I now realize how important that is, and I realize it more and more with each passing year. Um, during a uh, professional development exercise in Professor Hall's thermodynamics class, it's another thing I appreciated, um, we spent a lot of time on professional development in that class, and um, each student shared with the class their career aspirations. And during that exercise, I had shared with the class that I wanted to be a plant manager for a, a, a major chemical company. And at that time, that was a stretch goal that I wasn't sure that I would ever achieve. However, today that goal has become reality, and it's thanks to my degree from NC State. Um, I'd like to take some time to thank all of the outstanding professors that taught me during my time uh, in the department at NC State. You know, the reason the degree has been so helpful in my career is because of the high quality instruction from my professors. Um, I always appreciated how my uh, NC State professors went the extra mile to drive um, student engagement in the classroom. Uh, Dr. Parsons achieved this through daily quizzes in his transport phenomena class. Um, also, I've told many, many people before that I'm not sure that I would have been able to make it through the chemical engineering curriculum had I not had Dr. Bullard for CHE 205. Dr. Bullard was able to explain new concepts in a way that I could easily understand. Um, it's also been very exciting for me. We've had some recent uh, younger co-op students that have been working at the plant tell me that they're using the Felder, Rousseau, and Bullard textbook for their introductory chemical engineering class. Um, I, I pr proudly tell them that Dr. Bullard taught me the class and, and share how fortunate I was to have learned from her. Um, finally, I'd like to thank my family, starting with my parents. From the time I uh, learned how to talk, my parents had stressed the importance of pursuing a college-level education. Um, thanks to my parents' encouragement and support, um, I was set on the right path for a successful career. Um, also, I'd like to thank my wife, Kate, and our two wonderful children, Ben and Emma. Uh, Kate and I actually met doing chemical engineering homework together at NC State. Um, so for this reason, I would actually get excited when our professors would assign us hours and hours of problem sets for homework because it meant more time with Kate. So um, not only did NC State CB help me professionally, but personally as well. Um, you know, really none of my career success would have been possible without Kate's support. So um, yeah, thank, thank you very much uh, to the department for this great honor, thanks. Congratulations again, Christopher. And, um, Thank you for attending our ceremony today. Speaking of our ceremony, this brings us to the uh, conclusion. I wish, I hope that you all as award recipients will participate in our next on-campus award ceremony because we would love to host you uh, on campus when we're able to. Uh, now, that may not happen next year, who knows, but uh, we, we would love to have you back on campus uh, and uh, show you uh, where your photo and your citation sits in our, our hall uh, of fame, if you will. I, uh, in closing, I'd like to thank a few people who helped put this all together. Uh, clearly, uh, uh, 
uh, Russ O'Dell, Dr. O'Dell is uh, an integral part of, as our Director of Alumni Relations of, of assembling uh, this event. And I wanna thank him and uh, uh, Dr. Lisa Bullard uh, who constitute the uh, nomination committee for, for the award. They filter through the, uh, all the nominations that we receive. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, our staff member who uh, has helped us produce in the, in the background um, this event, uh, Danielle Regal. Uh, she's listed on your screen as CBE department. If you can see CBE department, not sure if you can or can't, but thank you, Dan Danielle. And we appreciate you also mailing out the plaques and making sure that everyone uh, received uh, the award in time. So this brings us to the conclusion of this year's program. I wanna again, thank all who participated uh, out in, in this virtual audience. And again, all of the award winners, congratulations and hope to see you here soon, go back.